Welcome back to wagertalk.com. We're heading to the NFL for Sunday. And boy, there isn't a bigger one on Sunday than Philadelphia at the LA Rams. The two surprise teams in the NFC this year. This is going to be Ralph's best bet. Preston, I'm going to come to you. And a lot of people thought that both Philadelphia and the Rams were going to be improved. I don't think many people thought we were going to be talking about playing for home field advantage this week with these two teams. It's, it's true. I am, the one thing I hate the most about this NFL season is I didn't bet a Rams future to win the Super Bowl. Uh, they were my biggest season win total over. I bet them to make the playoffs. And a little bit on the division was like 20 to 1. But I don't have, I mean, Super Bowl is probably 100 to 1 or something, and I didn't do it, and so I'm kicking myself. I, I will say this. I was good enough last week to stay off the Cardinals, but I did bet Seattle and bet against the Eagles. It feels like a nice little bounce back spot for the Eagles, and there's all this L.A. drama now with the, the actual fire stuff going down in there. I know UCLA just canceled their game against Montana tonight. Um, hopefully things are taken care of, obviously, by the weekend. I don't know if it's impacting families or people that are around there. At least there's, I don't know, there's some extracurriculars now that are kind of, you know, coming into fruition here for Los Angeles. I, I'm not going to take a side. I liked the under 51, which is gone now. It was 49, I think, last I looked. Uh, I expected it to be a little lower scoring. So... Um, that would be my look still at 49. I think my number was 47 and a half, but at, at this point I'm probably not betting it. Ralph, you look at these two, and Preston alluded to the fact that, you know, the Rams got the job done on the road, which was an absolute horrible situational spot for them last week, coming off of the big game against the Saints and this game on deck. To, you know, even though Arizona was a division game, if you look at who they had played the previous two weeks and who they played the following two weeks, for them to show up and get – uh, take care of business, you got to give them a lot of credit. But we've seen the public, I think, and the odds maker overreact because the send out number at Westgate for this game, the look ahead line was actually Philadelphia two and a half, and we've flipped it around now to the Rams. Because Philadelphia lost to Seattle, and I know Seattle's decimated with injuries on the defensive side of the ball, that is still a tough venue to go into and play. Well, yeah, I, I don't like I don't like backing a team with the overreaction. But when I when I match up this game, I still have to back the Rams. You know, Philadelphia. Philadelphia went to Seattle last night, played Sunday night, emotional game, and they're uh, they're actually practicing in a Angel Stadium in Anaheim this week. So oh, okay. they stayed on the West Coast, as most teams do. But they're not the same thing as you know. New England used it to their advantage when they were at Denver and then played Mexico City. I think you need to have a little more established of a coaching staff to, to benefit. We'll see what happens. But um, so you don't have the travel issues for them. But clearly in my mind, you got the Zach Ertz issue. He's going through concussion protocol. I mean, 57 receptions. He's 10 better than Alshon Jeffries, and he's 25 better than anyone else. So if there's any concern on Philadelphia's offense is if he doesn't go. But I just look at the Rams, and I look at what they've done at home. I love their defense. I love their offense. When they're playing at home, their offense averages 58 yards more than their opponents allow on average. That's number six in the NFL. On defense, they hold their opponents to 76 yards under what they normally average. That's number two in the NFL. They're number one in the NFL, plus 115 yards per game at home. You know, the average score at home is 28-13. So I'm going to back the Rams at home again, you know, as long as you're getting it under a field goal, which it currently is. And... You know, Philadelphia just hasn't proven to me on the road. Yes, the Dallas win is big. Yes, the Washington wins are big. But division games on the road are a little different than playing non-division games, playing a second straight road game, traveling, staying out there for another week, not seeing your families, being out of your normal routine. And I'm going to back the Rams. All right, good stuff, Ralph. He says to take the L.A. Rams, lay the two and a half with the Rams on Sunday over Philadelphia. And guys, if you want to check out your favorite capper and get all of his picks, check out a three-day all-access package. It's just $59. You'll get every play he releases, both football and basketball. And don't forget, guys, if you like these videos, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This way you'll never miss a video once it's loaded and be sure to tell all your friends. We'll be back with more here at wagertalk.com.